Okay, I, I should be back. I should be back. Hopefully the issue is um, was having is fixed. OBS does not like to play nicely with my capture card. Uh, specifically with the PS3. Usually with everything else, it's fine. You still- you still with us, Evil? Am I back? Someone's planning to extract enemy soldiers via Fulton recovery. Thwart their attempt by shooting down the balloons. We're calling this the Puyan mission. Why? Support our troops. Shoot <laughs> those balloons. Why- why? Th why that name, Kaz? Okay, uh... So, we're just shooting down... I, I'm, I'm gonna have to take the... the banana off, unfortunately. What's that, evil? Oh, welcome back. I'm not up on my, uh... <laughs> Text lingo. Okay, the audio crackling that's happening is really going to bother me. Usually restarting OBS fixes it. It didn't this time. <laughs> you Can you hear the audio crackling or is it just me? I'm not talking about my mic audio either. I'm talking about the the game's audio. The goddamn PS3 is so hard to capture. It's just me? Okay, then fine. What the hell is this? Don't worry, we're, we're saving them. Is this a reference to a very old Konami game? Okay. The sound effects sound like they were taken from an old arcade or MS, uh, MSX game. How long do I have to do this? I guess, I mean, I'm gonna guess there's a finite amount of them because, like, I have three lives. Or is this just a high score thing? Man, the- the chapter 5 of this game has made me feel like I'm on crack. <laughs> Up until chapter 5, the game was pretty normal. As- as normal as Metal Gear can be.
Where is he? There he is. Okay, can I put on m m real music? <laughs> the little chip tune was cute for the first 30 loops. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't have him, he's mine. Alright, now things are starting to get difficult. Okay, you're done with that area. Head for the goal. Oh, okay. Mission's over. Well, that should have been an S rank. Mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. I saved everybody. Oh, hell yeah. You're not stealing my soldiers, whoever you are. Are you saying that because my, uh, my group is the military without borders? Okay, this guy can go, you can go in a combat unit. The thing about that is, the Doctors Without Borders is a real thing, and the military without borders uh, while mercenaries are real, I suppose, there there's no military sans frontier in real life. Good... Gr oh, great curry. I was gonna read it as good curry. So I really need to capture more mechs so that I can have, like, units of just vehicles for these final missions. Because it's going to take a while to d do all those dispatch missions one at a time. If I could send multiple units out, it would be much, much faster. Okay, well... What's the weakest armored vehicle battle we can do? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, let's try this tank battle. Commencing mission. I wish I had... I wish I had goddamn... Uh... Battle dress. Like, um... Yeah. Now I can't remember what it's called. You want to be naked? <laughs> or I could wear a tuxedo. Uh... But... Yeah, the pink uniform is great. Uh, 
the thing is, these vehicle battle missions, stealth is not in a factor. So sure, we'll wear the pink uniform. Survival. It gets a C across the board for all environments. I could blend into a flock of flamingos. Pretty well, I think. Alright, let's see about... Uh, What is this? No, no, no. What is an aerial mine? Automatically rises once set, rendering vehicles temporarily immobile if hit. Okay. What about my handy dandy anti tank mines? So I've got land and helicopters. I'll keep those on because we're going to be doing some vehicle battles. Gonna want to bring the banana for this one. Uh, not really. Uh... I, I wish I had a large caliber automatic armor piercing bullets will penetrate helmets. Offers three levels of zoom. You know what? I'm gonna bring this. Because I usually bring, like, a heavy machine gun and I just mow down the enemies, but it takes so many bullets. With this, maybe I can just get him in one. Call it a day. And I'll bring a rocket launcher, of course. I wonder if the SVD rank 2 is strong enough to put a bullet through the helicopter's windscreen. Sorry, hold on. I, was, I, I needed to reset my screen you size. Have any supply markers. Are you gonna have enough ammo? Maybe you should pull back and reorganize things first. Oh shit, Kaz, you're right. I didn't bring supply markers. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna run out of ammo in like 10 seconds and then not have any. Let me just melee a tank to death. I'll take the standard grenades off and swap those out with supply mark. There. Alright, this time we're ready for the party. You can call me the Pink Mamba. Neutralize that tank unit. You can do it. All right, let's give this SVD a try. They haven't seen you yet. Perfect. Now's your chance. Whoops. Well, it's pretty good. Whoa, he just used my strat on me. It almost worked.
you son of a bitch. <laughs> Go down. I need I need diazepam to keep my hands steady. Yeah, nice tactical position you got there, pal. Okay, the SVD was a good idea. can't shoot for it with, for shit at range. Uh, actually, maybe taking a crouch stance will help with that a little bit. Don't even think about it. Dude, come on, really? You ever played chicken with a rocket? Oh, great. It's okay, I didn't need to hear. Sorry, I had to do a burpee real quick. Oh, that dude, like, Shadow Clone, like, he used, like, a ninja trick on me. Did you see that? <laughs> he threw, like, a smoke bomb. You know, I don't need this ID card on me. I could swap that out with something. Like tortilla chips. Okay, I'm gonna assume those are the fuel tanks. Alright, fine, I'll bring out the Carl Gustav. Ow. Come on, we got this guy this time. If those are the fuel tanks, they have a that they, they are not blowing up. Come on. Come on, look how much damage we haven't even done to the goddamn tank yet. You saved me, lumber. Wow, that just like 
squeezed past my nose. Alright, I need ammo. Jeez. We're going to try something. I'm not really sure how to put this down in front of him without getting run over. Alright, I'll just put it down behind him real quick. Next time you drive, drive backwards. Asshole. What is he doing? Does he know he's like cornered? Like. Alright, I'm just gonna take pop shots at your. Hell yeah. Now we do this. While he's stuck. Did you like that, you asshole? Too bad I can't call another airstrike. Air Great, back to back. Okay, if the unit is taken care of, then the commander should come out any moment now. Just drive over one of my mines. No, you asshole. It's, on, it's right on your right. He's farting into the gas can. Uh, tank. Yeah, that's not a very great strat. I need more supplies, guys. I need a heroic second wind. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah, let me put some bullets right down the barrel of that thing.
Why are these tank units so much stronger than they were in the main game? I'm gonna fill your treads full of holes. Okay, my shed is not going to keep me safe for much longer. Did I just break your treads? What the hell was that? I think I did. I think I just damaged his treads. Damage the other ones. Okay, he's almost half dead. I just blow myself up. Come on, Snake, get up. Once I get this tank, it better be, un it, like, indestructible. When I send it out on missions. Please, just, just pop the commander out so I can shoot him in the face. I don't, uh, this last little wall is not gonna last.
harder than the final boss. This one tank is harder than the final boss. You know what? Fuck you. Oh yeah, and then he drives. Yeah, drive- park right on top of it. Park on top of it. Park on top of it, you asshole! God damn it. After all of that, I died! Let me have my own tank. <laughs> I'll take him out in seconds with my own tank. I need better weapons still. Actually, that's a good point. I do need better weapons. And how do we get better weapons in this game? By kidnapping people. Uh... It'll be a good mission to start- just go in and capture people. I could try capturing people on this mission, I'm sure they'd be good. Uh, I'm gonna put my actual camo back on, though. As fun as the pink camo is. Stealth. Uh. Yeah. We'll try this, I guess. Might not be the best mission, really, but what can you do? Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go in with these items that I've got. I think I'll be fine. Oh wait, I have to take the Walkman off. Uh, we'll just put, uh... The box tank. on, I guess. You want to see the cardboard box tank, evil? Oh yeah, that's my tank. <laughs> Maybe I should try fighting tanks with my cardboard box tank. Why is that a thing in the game? I mean, it's amazing, don't get me wrong. Oh, 
<laughs> By the way, this mission is not cannot be done stealthily, which is perfect because I don't feel like it. Oh. It'd be nice if I could... There we go. Yo, I see you, sniper. I see you. Here, hold on. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, impressed? <laughs> me too. Snake, just... Hold your like hold your breath for a second. I'll take these two guys. I need a sleep gun that can shoot through helmets. That would be... immensely useful. You like the cardboard box tank, evil? <laughs> Your objective lies beyond the gate. This is the only- this- I mean, every Metal Gear game has cardboard boxes. This is the only one with cardboard box tanks. Get away from me with that shotgun, you asshole. How's your knee feel? Wow, that guy took some punishment. Who threw that grenade? Snake's health might have something to do with how shaky his hands are. Yeah, throw a smoke grenade at me and obscure me in smoke. I'm sure that'll make me easier for you to shoot. Tacticians, these guys are. Okay, seriously, dude. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, 
Can I get supplies delivered to me here? Good. Where's the last guy? And now I'm taking these guys from this mission because one, this mission's a pain in the ass. So I'm going to assume uh, that they are good soldiers because it's a late game mission and it's it's a hard mission. You're not really intended to really capture anyone on this mission, aside from the POWs, considering... Well, my first time through, I just ran, run, ran and gunned my way through everything. You know, like this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't have time to put my ration on. What's wrong, boss? Respond! Boss! <sighs> I'm bad at Peace Walker. <laughs> I just need soldiers. Oh, no, I didn't mean to restart the mission. Evil, in my defense, before you were one of my followers, I was great at this game. Now that you're watching me play it, I'm, it's just like bullshit missions. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. I'm not blaming you. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, coincidentally, when you weren't looking, I was much better at the game. When would be a good spot to... Head, head for Peace Walker's hangar, I guess. That's a... Yeah, it's not a bad mission. This one actually is... Okay, I guess. It's okay, I'll swap over to Final Fantasy VII here soon, and then I'll be good at the game again. Time's running short. Get over to Peace Walker's hangar now. Oh yeah, these are... these are U.S. soldiers in this mission. I forgot about that. There we go. I mean, at least they're not wearing helmets. Not exactly what I was trying to do, but whatever.
Disregard what you just saw, soldier. I'm kidnapping Americans. Bolton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Oh, I didn't think I was actually going to make that. These guys are probably all going to be extremely hostile when they get to the base. Hide until the elevator arrives. Don't let anyone detect you. Hide from who, cause I've captured everyone already. That is another thing about the post-game part of this game. This game is meant to be played with up to, you know, four players. Most of the missions are are two-player at least. And I don't think the difficulty scales. What is it? That asshole really just take the long way around. Alright, I only have one Fulton Balloon left. And I'll have captured everyone I can capture on this mission. I do think I just got a prisoner that I didn't get last time, though. All right. Peace Walker can't be far. Hurry. Cool shield you have there. Now we just have to get through the mission. I can't capture anyone else. Come in, HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. Contact lost. Going to alert status. Understood. The enemy should still be nearby. Find him. Did nobody hear what I just did? Maybe. The enemy's close! Um, I know you said you weren't really a fan of 5, but 5 does have the smartest AI in the series. They actually will react to things how you'd expect. Nice legs. Don't shit yourself, Snake. Uh, 
tactical roll. It's too late. Oh. All right, let's see if they, any of these soldiers I just kidnapped are any good. I prefer to call it what it is. <laughs> Recruiting them means floating them off in a balloon while they're unconscious. Or near death, and then pointing a gun at them and beating the shit out of them until they comply. If needed. Well, only two of them needed a little bit of help complying. Well, so far a couple of good... Ooh, SVD rank 3. Look at that. Anti-tank mine rank 3. A few good R&D guys. Most in the gaunt rank 3. I'm almost at capacity. Just a hundred and... Uh, 12 more guys. And I will be at capacity. I wish the R&D team could hold 100 units like the combat team can. the rank 3 SVD. Oh, and the rank 3 M16. The gun I used for almost the entire game. I better not have lost any of my vehicles. No, they're all doing pretty good, actually. Alright, how do you guys do feel about taking on another tank unit? What missions are available to me that aren't... Vehicle missions that I'm not going to be able to do. Paparazzi. Take a photo of the commander of the enemy mercenary unit at the Rio del Jade base. The commander is dressed just like any other soldier, but is not nearly as busy. What the hell is this? Okay, we're going to do the, the paparazzi mission, I guess. Because these armored vehicle battles, I'm just not going to be doing. Defend the bases at the heliport of the U.S. Mil missile base in Nicaragua from enemy assault. Bases will be captured by the enemy if any enemy soldiers remain in the base for a certain period of time. Okay, let's do these two missions. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. I can't, Good luck out there. I can't put Lady Gaga music on, unfortunately, or I would. <laughs> Uh, well, I definitely need to bring my camera. Oh, 
high quality rangefinder camera. Oh man, remember when the PlayStation user interface was called the XMB for some reason? Alright, let's listen to one of Strange Love's um, memories real quick. Hopefully, it's not 30 minutes. I spoke out against her going, submitting a report stating the ray shielding was inadequate. But the brass's response was brusque. She's already been exposed to a nuclear test in Nevada. She's the perfect candidate. It was completely irrational. Repeated exposure to radiation would only increase the danger. But the government was still reeling from the Soviet success with Sputnik. There was no hope of getting a rational response. They were simply too panicked. People can be so obtuse when it comes to things they can't see. I, however, understood all too well. Just as invisible ultraviolet radiation scorched my skin, heavy particle radiation from space would cause irreparable harm to human tissue. In a word, she was expendable. It was during the boss's pre-flight checkup that I noticed something strange on the x-ray of her skull. Part of the right hemisphere of her brain was damaged. It seemed inexplicable, given her keen intelligence and amazing physical prowess, but there it was, and I decided to report it. I hoped that perhaps my discovery of a physical defect would result in the flight being cancelled. But as I went to make my report, she stopped me. Why, I demanded. How can you let yourself be their guinea pig? Ignoring my protests, she took me up to the roof of the lab. The night sky was ablaze with stars. It was there that I learned how she had wounded her head. 1943, Los Alamos. She was serving with the special forces when she received new orders. A German spy had infiltrated the Manhattan Project, which aimed to build the world's first atomic bomb. She was to eliminate him. His name was John von Neumann, a mathematician with superhuman computational abilities and the designer of the explosive lens. The Manhattan Project was a top national priority, security accordingly tight. The guards couldn't be allowed to know what was going on, She'd have to slip past them and make the death look like an accident. It should have been an easy enough mission. But just before the operation, she received unexpected news. A new life was growing inside her. She was overcome with joy. And for one brief moment, it clouded her judgment. She accidentally got into a shootout with the guards and without thinking, protected her belly. She was shot in the head. The bullet only grazed the surface of her brain, but the tissue around the wound was destroyed, leaving her in a coma. She wasn't given much chance of recovery, but three months later, she woke up. Within six, she was able to move around as if nothing had happened. It was functional compensation. The other parts of her brain took over for the part that was lost. It made logical sense, but... Such a full recovery was nothing short of a miracle. Perhaps her superhuman willpower made it possible. Or perhaps... Perhaps my body knew it had to survive for the sake of my unborn child. She smiled as she said that. I understand how she must have felt. Some have taken to calling me Ms. Left Lobe, she said. Because I'll do anything for the mission. She was tough. Yes, but she had feelings too. I knew that better than anyone else. As it turned out, von Neumann wasn't the spy. The assassination order was a deliberate bit of misinformation planted by the Russians. She had been deceived. The Eastern and Western camps were united on one point, opposition to the Nazis. The Allies needed to develop that bomb before Hitler did. But in looking ahead, the Russians found the Manhattan Project's progress a little too quick for their liking. Mass production of a uranium bomb 
like the one that was eventually dropped on Hiroshima, would be difficult from a material perspective. But a plutonium bomb, once perfected, could be mass-produced, and eventually even miniaturized. And Moscow did not like the idea of America having that kind of head start. Explosive lens technology was critical to the plutonium design, so the plan was to get rid of its pioneer, von Neumann. And when that plot came to light, the US and the Soviet Union parted ways for good. It was one of the rare cold nights in Florida. She put her arm gently around my shivering shoulders. As I listened to her voice, I was wrapped in her soothing scent. I felt as if I were dreaming. Even in failure, she seemed perfect. Oddly enough, the failed assassination attempt helped preserve America's edge. A true super genius, von Neumann went on to make his mark in numerous fields outside of the Manhattan Project. Economic game theory, stored program computing. Almost all computers today use stored programs. The so-called von Neumann architecture. His death would have set back computing 10 years, and I wouldn't be at NASA doing research. I wouldn't have been there in her arms that night. I thanked the fates for giving me that chance. But then she said something unexpected. I should have killed von Neumann when I had the chance. Why, I asked. Wasn't the order a Soviet plot? I looked up at her as she began to explain. Yes, von Neumann was innocent, and killing the innocent is a grave crime. But I can't help but wonder, had I succeeded, what would the world be like now? Even without von Neumann, the explosive lens would have eventually been developed. Von Neumann architecture, too. But she seemed to believe that if progress had been put off for a few years, then perhaps East and West would have had a chance to work hand in hand. I'd never considered such a possibility, but her tone was confident, assertive. It was as if she intended to make the two superpowers shake hands herself. The explosive lens was developed too early, spawning a cold war and an endless nuclear arms race, she continued. That mission sprung from deceit, but maybe it was divine providence too. It was like she was speaking to her own child. Her large, warm hand was on my head. I failed the mission because I let the mother in me take over. I should have killed him, no matter how great the guilt. If I'd killed him, I might not have prevented Hiroshima, but maybe I could have saved everyone in Nagasaki. I looked up at her and saw her looking up too, up at the starry sky. Her face showed only deep remorse. It was as if she'd convinced herself that she alone was responsible for creating this twisted world. But that's no reason for you to sacrifice yourself for this. I knew I'd never dissuade her, and yet I still clung to hope. I know you're concerned and I thank you, but I have to be loyal to the end. And then she smiled at me. Loyal to the end. Loyal to what? I asked. But she didn't answer. Okay. Only one more of those left. <laughs> we'll do it next time. Um, I'm gonna do paparazzi and I'm gonna do the other mission that is, like, doable. And then we're gonna move on to Final Fantasy VII. out scouting. If anyone spots you, it's game over. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, I took I took control of my stream back from Strange Love. 
I don't. I like to share the uh, cassette tapes because I am. I've been playing. Well, I'm playing the entire series, and I'm doing going through the story for every game. But uh, those the cassette tapes in Peace Walker do get a little lengthy, and you can't do anything while you're listening to them. I think I see someone. No, you don't. In Metal Gear Solid Five, you can at least um, listen to the tapes while like doing missions. You can multitask. Right, I'm supposed to be taking a picture of the commander, and I don't know which one the commander is. And I just knocked two guys out, so hold on. I, I have to wake everyone up real quick, and... Because the commander is apparently not as busy as the people around him. What was that? Nothing. Yeah, what's yeah, what's a commander got to do really, other than just stand around? What was that? I'm seeing things. I have a hunch I know where the commander is actually, and I doubt it's any of these assholes. Okay, hunch incorrect. I thought maybe he'd be hanging out up here. Where's the commander? God. Start talking. Huh. I'm just gonna go around and take pictures of everybody. Not the commander. I don't have time to care. Not the commander. Not the commander. Where's the guy in charge? I need to speak to your manager. Are you serious? Is none of these guys? Where, where the hell is he? Huh. Well, I guess we're starting this mission over. Maybe it just wasn't counting because they were all asleep. Get it. You'll never make it in time. The mission's over.
Who do you think the commander is, evil? Get a photo of the enemy commander while he's out scouting. If anyone spots you, it's game over. <laughs> while he's out scouting. I like all these screenshots that are getting saved to my PS3 of just random ass guards. What is it? Kaz, relax. Clearly the game didn't recognize that there was a guy in that photo frame. I'm gonna wait for this guy to come outside, because if I get spotted, it's game over. Enemies close by. Like, you know, like that. The mission's a failure. Return to base. Well, I've narrowed down who it isn't. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's random every time. Wouldn't that be cool? While he's out scouting. If anyone spots you, it's game over. Someone attacking? No. The enemy's attacking! Going to alert staff! What's wrong? What's going on over there? What's going on? Not the commander. Who the hell's the commander? Okay, now this mission's got me stumped, because I'm pretty sure I've taken pictures of everyone, and it's been wrong every time. You also only have four and a half minutes, so I can't imagine it's all that complicated to find the commander. Wow, even the missions I think are going to be easy are like, nah, nah bro. Have fun finding the commander. Everyone's dressed in the same uniform. Must be nice having all that free time to... Oh. I, I wasn't talking about you, boss. A comandante in el frente would never have time on his hands for something like that. Looks like that commander's got plenty of time on his hands. Well, what the hell is he... Must be nice. What's he doing with all his free time, then? A comandante in el frente would never have time on his hands for something like that. Let's see if anyone hears this. Ah! 
must be nice having all that free time to... Well, I, I wasn't talking about you, boss. Like that commander's got plenty of time on his hands. Huh, must be nice. I'm gonna just whoops no stop. I'm gonna just look up look this one up. <laughs> Cause this is annoying. What was that? What are you trying to take a picture of? That's just wasting film. I'm seeing things. What are you trying to take a picture of? Kaz. That's just wasting film. What was that? What are you trying to take a picture of? That's just that? wasting film. I think I see someone. I'm gonna blow myself up. I told you to keep him alive. Metal gear, solid peace walker. Photograph the commander. Okay, all right. I know what to look for now. It's not that you just need to take a picture of the right soldier. You have to take a picture of the right soldier doing the right thing. Why does this almost sound like Metal Gear NES music? I mean, not anymore, but... That intro almost sounded perfect. So now we just have to figure out which guard is is the commander, and he'll start doing a unique animation. What was that? I see him. I see the commander. Just shoot the motherfucker. Thank you. I just needed the powers of 8-bit Lady Gaga to help me. Ugh. 
You've been awarded a new insignia. Is that snake giving a middle finger? That's great. Snake, you're not gonna believe this, but yeah, Zadornov's missing again. Oh, God, of course are you he sure is. Somebody's not. I don't know, letting him out on purpose. You think I have time to assemble a mole hunt? Man, this guy isn't just good. He's so good at scary. If he's doing this alone, that is. Anyway, he left a trail, so we've got a good idea of where he's probably hiding. You know what the mission is. Find the doorknob snake. We're hunting for the doorknob again. Alright, let me do this mission and then we'll be we'll move on to Final Fantasy VII. I want to catch the doorknob again and see if anything happens yet. This is the fifth time he's escaped. Snake, the doorknob's escaped custody again. You have to track him down. Let me bring the banana along. I'm also going to bring night vision goggles. If I can. Right there. I'm ready. I'm ready this time. I've got my banana locked and loaded. I'm sure. I, I got this. I, I can do this. Because with night vision goggles... Zadornov is going to stand out like a sore thumb. What's the operation area? Hold on. Is there no 8-bit version of this? I was going to do another 8-bit version of a song joke because I can do those without getting copyright struck there there isn't ah oh, god damn it all right that's fine all right i'll go with that <laughs> oh, okay.
Turn the other way, dude. It's a good it's a good 8-bit version. I'm going to assume Zadornov is not going to be in the starting area for this one. Because he never is. My favorite use of this song in any movie will always be in the second Johnny English. Yeah, that's right. Put your hands up. It's a banana. Um, okay, so there's a scene in the second Johnny English where he gets... A drug is used on him that causes him to follow any orders given to him. And they're about to use him to assassinate someone of high importance. And then one of his... F one of the other good guys uh, hacks into the comms that they're using to, to talk to... Johnny English remotely and give him his orders and just starts playing this song over it instead so he starts following the directions of the song I mean I've always been a big Rowan Atkinson fan so I thought that was I thought that was particularly a fun scene. Enemies close by. Fuck. The banana failed me. I recommend you stop you cease and you desist. I can make this a lot more painful. Okay, hold on. I feel like I need to show off this scene from Johnny English. Because now I can't stop thinking about it. Hold on. Hello, 
All right, here we go. Let me swap over to Chrome real quick. You had to bring that song up, Evil. So there you go. I can't hear that song and not think about that. Between Austin Powers and the Johnny English films. Yes, you did walk into Johnny English because uh, a few minutes ago, Evil requested an 8-bit version of uh, Word Up. So, uh, after listening to that, I had to show off what I always think of when I hear that song. Ever since seeing that movie, anyway. Uh, by the way, Sky Knight, welcome. How are you doing? Freeze! Ah! Going on. We're under attack. Going to alert status. Oh, you understood. Assholes. Maintain heightened alert. Rise and shine. I hate helmets. Enemy attack. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know how long you'll be around. Rise and shine. The enemy's here! But after soon, anyway, we'll be starting Final Fantasy VII, and I'll be doing that for the rest of the day. Enemy sight. Commencing attack. Understood. Eliminate all hostiles. All right, Zadornov has got to be on the other side of this. With how guarded it was. Okay, how did you two not get involved in any of that? Free. Ah! Free. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I mean, once I start Final Fantasy VII, it's probably going to end up like last time, where I play it until... You guys are getting ready for bed. <laughs> I don't have anything to do. I don't- I, I took care of all my responsibilities today. Already. Kaz, I'm inside the facility. There's rows and rows of trucks here. Zadornov so should be somewhere in that area. Find him! No, we're doing this again. Also, most excellent. I will never bow before any corporate sponsor. Uh, not this one. Ah, uh, fish. Mm. Metal Gear. This 
Sunlight! I don't know what that's a reference to. We saw that one before as well. Damn it! You found me. By the way, I just realized I left the volume of the game way up after after showing off that scene from Johnny English. It's okay, it was only a few minutes. I found him, Kaz. Close, but no cigar. Not for you, anyway. Snake, we're coming to pick him up. Okay, that was that's five times we've captured the doorknob. What the hell is he looking for? Okay, well, I just got a trophy. Crab. Okay, well, uh, let's see what new missions popped up real quick, because usually a bunch of more missions pop up every time we go capture Zadornov. And then I'll save this and we'll swap over to Final Fantasy VII. Dead Man's Treasure. Retrieve all the items from the Cloud Forest of Central Heredia. Beware of ghosts. No life regeneration items or weapons allowed. What? Okay. Another hold-up mission for me to do with my banana. Claymore Disarmament. Okay. Well, we'll do these missions next time. I'm gonna save and uh, get my PS5 over here so I can plug it in. And we will swap over to Final Fantasy VII. Also, I'd like to point out my controller is at one bar of battery, which I forgot about. It was also at one bar of battery last time we ended the stream. On, or ended PS3 stuff anyway. All right, give me a second. I have got to swap over, well, not swap over, but I've got to get my PS5 over here. Because as usual, I am prepared for the stream.